In Tamil language, we refer to the soil as Thai man, that means mother soil. The genetic material in your system, it will get weaker if the soil gets weak. Twenty years time, they are saying forty percent of India's land will be non-cultivable. So protecting the soil and water for the future generations of this land is the most important thing. In Tamil language, we refer to the soil as Thai man, that means mother soil. Because there's a deep understanding in the culture that this is the mother, because it is from this we are born. Our biological mother is only representative. The real mother is here. It is the soil that we carry as my body. But it has become so in the world that we have started referring to soil as dirt. See, you call this dirt because you think it's something. But I'm telling you, this soil is so intelligent. Did it ever so happen that you put an apple seed and a pear came out by mistake, soil made a mistake? Did it ever so happen? Such a thing never happened, isn't it? It is the same soil which is turning into apple, it is the same soil which is turning into a pear, but such a mistake never happened. So do not underestimate the intelligence of life. Do not think the madness that's going on in your bone box is the only intelligence, that's the lowest form of intelligence. Everything else in the existence is super intelligent, isn't it so? Life is intelligence, isn't it so? The very air that you breathe, there is a phenomenal amount of intelligence in it. These days, the modern mothers, if children go and put their hands in the soil and come, they say, your hands are dirty. No, they are not dirty. You are touching the source of your life. When you mistake the source of your life for dirt, the chances of you putting your roots down and the chances of you growing to your full size and capability, the chances of you seeing flower and fruit are remote, isn't it? If the tree thought that my roots are getting dirty, there would be neither flower nor fruit. The tree understands when it sinks its roots into the earth, it knows this is the source of its life. But we, the most intelligent species on the planet, are not able to feel this. This is a source of many, many, many problems that human beings are experiencing right now. Forget about enlightenment, forget about seeing other dimensions of life, they are not even able to be healthy, which every creature is able to do quite effortlessly, because they cannot sink their roots into this earth because somewhere in their mind, it's become dirt. Actually, one of the things that we used to do, if somebody's in ill health, what we would do is, we will bury him till here in a certain type of soil. Just make him… keep him there for a few hours every day. You will see the whole system will reorganize itself so beautifully and they will come out of their ailments. Today this burying uh, is considered archaic, so we give them mud bath, just a thin layer of earth. But if you just stay into the earth, this is the reason why all the yogis, mystics anywhere always went into mountain caves because they want to be in the cocoon of the earth. They want to feel the planet because without that your own system doesn't function at its full capacity because your body is not any different from the planet itself, it's just a piece which has popped up, isn't it? There is enough scientific study to today tell you, your body and my body, how strong it is, not just of muscular strength, essential strength in the body of its, our existence. This is determined by the kind of soil not only that you eat from, the kind of soil that you walk upon. The genetic material in your system, it will get weaker if the soil gets weak.
The moment you make the next generation less than who we are, we have committed a crime against humanity. The nutrients in the soil, the organic content in the soil is going down dramatically because there is no way to put it back. The only way you could improve the organic content in the soil is the leaves of the trees and the animal waste. Trees, we have taken them out long time ago. Now we are slaughtering all the animals and exporting it to other nations. With this, there is nothing to put back into the soil. It is estimated in the next five years, twenty-five percent of India's land will be in the process of desertification, that is nothing can be cultivated, it's not cultivable. In the next twenty years' time, they are saying forty percent of India's land will be non-cultivable. In the next forty years' time, they are saying sixty percent of India's land will be non-cultivable. At this rate, with 1.25 billion population our, on our hands, we must think, what will be our… the state of this country when we can't give the needed water for people and the necessary food that we grow? For this, the most important thing… See, right now, pharma suicides have gone to an alarming level. In twelve years, over three hundred thousand farmers have committed suicide. The explanation we are always giving is, because the tomato prices dropped, he committed suicide. Because he could not pay bank installment, he committed suicide. I want you to understand this. If you want to do farm… farming, you need rich soil and abundant water. The soil has lost its richness and water is scarce. Farming is a heartbreaking activity. Nobody will want to continue this after some time. So protecting the soil and water for the future generations of this land is the most important thing.